Bearded Science Guy here, and today we're going to do an experiment comparing the densities of hot and cold water. To start with, you'll need two cups that are the same size, a piece of hard, thin, flat plastic, and two different colors of food coloring. The first step is to fill up one cup with cold water and the other one with hot water, all the way to the very top where the water is actually above the top of the glass. Now it's time to add your food coloring. What colors don't really matter, but for this experiment, we chose red for the hot water and blue for the cold water. At this point, it's time to take the hard, flat piece of plastic and put it on top of the hot water glass. After that, you can flip it upside down and the air pressure in the room will keep it attached to the glass. This will allow you to place the hot water glass carefully on top of the cold water glass and slide the piece of plastic out without spilling. This step doesn't always work out perfectly, so I would use a large bowl or a sink to catch any water that spills. You'll notice that the hot water and the cold water don't mix even though they're in contact with one another. That's because the density of the cold water has the particles packed a little closer together than the hot water, and gravity is pulling them down. Now it's time to repeat the experiment, only this time we're going to reverse it. So go ahead and fill up your cups with hot water and cold water again, and then use the food coloring to make the hot water red and the cold water blue. But now, instead of doing it just like our first experiment, we're going to put the plastic on top of the cold water and use it to put the cold water on top of the hot water. Again, be careful lining up the cups and sliding the plastic out so that you don't make a mess. This time you'll see the cold water and hot water start mixing quickly. This is because the higher density cold water starts falling down through the lower density hot water and the food coloring is taken along for the ride so you can see it happening. Now let's take a look at this experiment with a thermal infrared camera. It's important to note that the thermal camera can't see through glass, so what it's looking at is the temperature on the surface of our container, which is why there's a little bit of a delay when we pour our liquids into them. You'll notice that not only are the colors not mixing, but the temperature of the hot water stays hot and the temperature of the cold water stays cold. This part of the video is even sped up so that after 10 minutes, the temperature of the hot water is still above 90 degrees and the temperature of the cold water is still below 65. Now let's take a look at the other experiment with the thermal camera. The colors start mixing immediately, but if you look at the thermal camera, it shows that the hot water and cold water don't just trade places. The hot water particles lose some of their heat energy to the cold water particles, and then after a minute, everything's the same temperature. 
Again, if you remember, there's a little bit of a delay because the thermal camera is looking at the temperature on the outside of the container. Thanks for watching Beard Design Scott. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. And don't forget to check out more of our science videos on YouTube and Facebook.